so before Optic, you were in Complexity, right? Yeah. And who was, who was on your team? Do you remember? It was the Blast. original. Yeah, the original Complexity roster was me, Parasite, uh, Study, and Fellow. Uh huh. We got smoked. <laughs> That's it. Um, and then we made a roster change. Uh, they kept me and then added uh, Sensor. What a guy Doug is, by the way. Uh, Rick. No, we just touched the thing. It's all good. And then Ricky. Uh, uh, yeah, Rick and Blast. And then, I mean, like, we're just like. It's just like it's definitely night and day, like being on like optic with like these type of like players, and then like as opposed to like last year and stuff. But I mean, they were like they were definitely cool, but we were just we were just that we weren't that good. So you've been you've been on optic, or you've been with this team for uh, is it gonna be a year now? Yeah, right, almost almost a year. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be almost a year. And obviously, the the difference between playing with uh, Complexity, who's a historic obviously esports organization. Um, the difference to me, and I, and you tell me from from your perspective how this looked, but the difference to me was again what we keep going back to is the fact that you know you, you've always been this good, but it took sort of this spotlight for you to be that good. What what do you think is like the if you were on optic and you were on a different team, like how how do you break out? How do you break? How do you break out? Because winning championships certainly doesn't just do it. Because if that was the yeah. case, then there'd be so many more people with like massive massive Brands, followers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't. That's a, that's a hard question. I mean, I guess a personality has a lot to do with it. Obviously, um, like winning is you have to win just because you have to get as much exposure as you can. Because I was like when I was getting bounced out of tournaments last year, like no one even knew and no one even cared. Like if they knew, they didn't care. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like if we got top sixteen on optic, like we'd get crucified. Yes. <laughs> but like it's just one of those. We things. just got top fourteen in DFW. What was that for uh, CS? Or no, over here. You, you got four. That was top 12. That was top 12. Top 12? Same, well, same, same. Once you get past eight, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but we top do. four. Once you get top three, is, does anything matter yeah. besides top three? It's Yeah, that was that event was kind of like a reality check. Like, yo, like we got to grind type of thing. And then we ended up getting third twice in a row, but it was, we definitely could have did a lot better. But I feel like we could have won these like these last two events. So like, do I. But I do think 100 Thieves is, they're like by, well, like not by far, but they're they're like the best team. And then we like, we weren't even as good as we were, and we choked against them. Especially at London, like we, sh in my opinion, we should have won London. Anaheim was like they—they they kind of beat us like straight up. But how hard is it to stay like at that competitive level where you just the? For me, and obviously, I've never been in a in a competition that lasted three days long, let alone one entire day of just playing nonstop. Now, Fuiz and I have grinded Call of Duty GB matches for thirteen hours, so no fucking problem. Okay, yeah. no problem. But to do it in front of the crowd, to do it with uh, with as much that that's going on with people who are just as good as your team, it has to take its toll. And if you are, if you play too early, you're tired. You still have to get loosened up. And no matter how much amount of practice or pre scrims you get before the match, none, nothing's going to help when it gets to the to the, the actual, actual game. Match. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. So how do you how do you how do you maintain the level that you need to maintain in order to like? continue to, to to play at that level yeah it's hard like especially if you're in like those losers bracket matches like you're just like you can't get caught like slipping once like you lose one series you're out so yeah. like but then sometimes like you're playing for so long you kind of go in autopilot mode yeah like for example against Gen G at anaheim we're in losers finals we win first map we're like okay let's just cruise our way into grand finals then we'll go all out type mm -hmm. of thing and then but then like like we're just making mistakes that we usually don't make we're not communicating stuff like that so then it's like then the, the, the for example like they catch you slipping and then you end up losing the series but it wasn't really you at your full potential type of thing it was like but it's like it's hard like you gotta i don't think there's like a lot like much sleep you can do or eat anything it's just one of those things where i don't know it's just i guess it's just something that inside of you got to bring out i don't know yeah to be honest I, that, that's always been such a such a mystery to me because when when seth is on you can tell oh you can you, you, you can spot the difference yeah you spot the difference when seth is just like there yeah. fully and not like all right i'm seth i'm just yeah. comes natural to me i would be good yeah uh, same thing with crim six right like crim six obviously being a little bit older yeah being so the thing with crim six in my opinion is that he's won so many championships more than anybody else that for him it's just like at this point it's just like making sure that everybody else on his team is 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 carrying the sort of torch and he'll yeah. do the dirty work the same thing with karma like they've been playing for so long that at this point it's just like how do we make the the kids better 
so we can do what we do and and play the game right and then go yeah. go down with it. Um, and it goes back and reverts back to them telling you not to snipe certain rounds and and do that. But when you're feeling it, when I'm feeling it, like they gotta because they don't, I don't feel like they don't know the the feeling. Like you guys yeah. gotta let me, go, especially with the crowd going. Like come yeah. on, like yeah, <laughs> let me get a couple one more snipe in. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> let me get this feeling one more time. Like yeah, sniping it at London was really fun with the crowd. Best thing ever, by the way. You do you think that the London crowd was by the, far? Yeah, 100%. Uh, I've been. So you, you never competed in France either, right? Never. So I think it's a European thing more than anything. And I and, and this is what I like about competing in 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 uh, in, North, in, uh, in Europe and then coming back to North America you will have different crowds in different states that are you know different but once you come back from from uh from Europe the crowd then has this sort of pressure on themselves and they're like holy shit we're in the tournament now yeah. we got to be more hyped than than that Anaheim crowd was insane bro yeah. the Anaheim crowd to me was crazy good and yeah like the cheering needs to needs to we need to come up with different cheers yeah. like i always said you know, like let's go optic. Like that's that's cool. I like it because it's a staple in the thing. Yeah. But when then you use the same thing for E United, you use the same thing for let's go thieves or whatever. Like what I yeah. like about hundred thieves is that they do like run it up, run it up. Run yeah, it it's up. like their own and thing. I think like yeah. that's that's uh, enables thing too. And then nature just stole it. Hey, run it up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then then you have uh, like it's like E United or let's yeah E United something like yeah. that. It's like let's get a little bit more flavorful. And I was I was talking to who was it. Uh, I think it was Miles to Ross. It's like you guys have the oh no no it was um, who was it? It was one of the casters. They're like wow, like American chants are like the absolute fucking worst. We gotta <laughs> we got we gotta have some sort of like uh, some sort of school uh, a class that will teach them how to how to be the thing. And I always thought that that at some point or another somebody was gonna be like together we stand together we fall together we are the Green Wall Green Wall. Wait, green that wall. would be tell me that's not fine. Wait, if right I here. hear that like, yeah. If I hear that, I'm like, we're not losing this series. No, There's no, no shot. It's the dope, right? I, wait, I made was, it up. I made wait, that, that shit up. That was elite. That's elite. Uh, we used to lose a lot when HL was on the team. And not because of him, but it's just, you know, it's yeah. like, it was like we, we had a lot of third place finishes. We were focused on, on something else. Yeah. Uh, like, people will give Nate out a shit ton of shit for maybe not being the best. But we were focusing on something completely else. We were, we were building something massive. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. for us to concentrate as much as we did on content and as much as we did on on, on, on competitive is like, the difference because when you're a kid and you're foregoing college you have to make sure that your paper's right you have to make sure that your finances that, that you're not wasting your time doing that so yeah. for me it was always like all right we we got to build a brand we got to build a brand we got to make sure that you don't win you know the, the story that i always tell so you know during that time we would lose a lot and i would you know i would always tweet out from the main account and be like you know sorry or whatever but uh, at, at some point I got so, so tired of saying, you know, sorry that I was just like, look, we're in this shit together. Like we are a family. Like we're the, we're yeah. the show. You guys are part of the family. You guys were here to entertain you, but we're all in this together. Yeah. If you're mad that we lost, how do you think we feel? You know what I'm saying? Like we, we're in the same thing. Like we lost, you lost. Yeah. The same thing. So together we stand, together we fall, together we are the green wall. And then, uh, the reason I said that is because I think that there's a, there's a chant there that people can, you know. Wait, that chat was... It was dope, right? It was dope. It was Listen, dope. I'm not going to toot my own horn because I don't like talking about myself. I'm just kidding. But that was dope. I, when yeah. I came up with it, I was like, I'm like, damn, I'm dirty. I'm yeah, that was, I'm so, that's probably one of your better ones for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, this uh, this year has had its little bit of an ups and downs. We win uh, Las Vegas. That was the, first, the opening event, yeah. right? We had a fucking crazy year the year before that. We were just crazy. Yeah. Then it turns into 5v5. Let's start there. When it went from 4v4 to 5v5, how did you feel about it? And how do you feel about it now that, that you've been playing with it? Uh, 5v5, it's like weird. It's like, I don't really like notice it. I feel like 4v4 is faster. Yeah. Like as dumb as that sounds, like it's more like you more get, you get more gunfights. I don't know why, but it's just like 5v5. I guess it's because everyone else is getting kills on the map, especially yeah. when you're playing with like four of the best players in the game. So yeah. it's like your kills, like you probably won't get as many, but it's like, I didn't think it, like I thought it was gonna be way more chaotic like at the start of the year, I'm like five players, like 10 players in the lobby that are all good. Like, yeah. in like in a small, like for example, like some like Hardpoint Hills, yeah. you know how small they are? And it's yeah. like, dude, 10 people in here? Like imagine that. <laughs> like, But it's it's actually like, it's like it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be for sure. So you, you like it now? I actually like it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I like it too. I've always said that, you know, the, the Counter-Strike way was, because well, I always wanted to have one dedicated, in S&D at least, yeah. having one dedicated sniper 
that five v five. I feel like that's like the way to go. Like I agree, and especially with how good the secondary is. Mm-hmm. Like people don't like like yo, you're sniping, but like the pistol's really good too. Like it's not like I'm a liability like without yeah, it. Yeah, and know? somebody goes down, pick up their weapon, and then you're good to go. So I, I thought it was. I thought at first. I didn't know what to think because I'm not the one that's playing, but I've always been a big fan of maybe going down the route of the of the five versus five. Uh, and I remember saying that in Black Ops 2 when Karma was just a god at sniping. Yeah. Uh, I, I said that in Hasra was like, no, no, no. Call of Duty needs to stay this, this, and that. And then he goes, counter, he goes into Counter-Strike and then he tweets out, he's like, well... Now that I think about it, I think we should be doing that. I'm like, I've been fucking telling you, snipers, snipers rule Call of Duty. Oh, people love snipers. Like people, whenever every- I see other pros like tweet out like, "Yo, we should gentlemen's agreement snipers and SND." I'm like, what? Like, do you have like that was my favorite part about going to events. Like for example, I went to champs in 2017. Yeah, and then like seeing formal like hit two snipes in the grand final and hearing the whole crowd go crazy. I was like, yo, I want that type of thing. And then like that was like, you know what? Like that's like, because always every like pro player is like. Like goal, in my opinion, at least, is to get to optic because like optic is like you know like the Lakers, the Yankees of you know I gotta guess you, you know what I'm saying like it's like of COD that like that you guys are like like that org yeah so the now Bulls was, yeah like in whenever you go to events 96, 97. we'll go with the Lakers Michael Jordan we'll go with the Raptors actually Kawhi 2019 champs but day you mad what you're mad what Kawhi's what you, gone I mean. Were you mad? Were you disappointed? I mean, I would have been mad if we would have lost and he would have left, but yeah. we won, so he gave us a chip at least. But I'm kind of a little bit salty. But first yeah. players to ever leave a winning team, he's got to be. He's. I think he's trying to get three Finals MVPs with three different teams. That would be because he'd be the first player of all time to do that or something like that, right? But he looks like the guy that would do that. You know, what he saying? does. Look he's like not. Exactly. He's not all. People there think that like he's just a quiet guy. He wants to. I feel like he's like quite the opposite. Like I feel like I feel like he does like the polar opposite of whatever you think he's gonna do. Yeah. He's just that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he reminds. I'm not gonna say that, but it, yeah. it, it he does. He does his own thing, his yeah, own way. He definitely tell. He's a nasty. He's a nasty ball player. I mean, he's arguably the best player in the NBA right now. So. And he left us for what? Yeah. For the Clippers? And you're not even at the Lakers? Like, <laughs> even the main team in LA? Like, at least go to the Lakers. Like, it was a weird move, man. You, know, you could have gotten the Supermax, right? Yeah. He could have got way more money with the Raptors. We just won. You could have, like, at least sign a one and done or whatever that contract you, is. You have the entire country of Canada behind you. Literally a country. Literally a country behind you. And you choose to say, I want to play with Buck and Paul and, and the Lakers. The Clippers. Oh, the Clippers, yeah, Clippers. Okay, Lakers, understandable. Clippers? Yeah. <laughs> That's like Optic Gaming and Optic Nation. I'm going to Optic Nation. Like, what? If I have a chance to go to Optic Gaming, I'm going to Optic Gaming. Yeah. Did, you know, like in Ghost, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, think he would, you think he would have been able to go to Lakers? He could have, but I feel like it, it was one of those things where he didn't want to uh, do like the like the super team thing with LeBron and yeah. Anthony Davis and stuff. That's yeah. probably like it has to be a factor. For me, the basketball, the, the the whole basketball super team stuff that that's been sort of created is, is it's laughable. But at the same time, like it forces other teams to to play at that level. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To play at that at that level with with everyone. Anyway, n- enough basketball. Um, so what?